I normally don't make videos on Wednesday, so if you're new here, you're getting an extra video. So bonus for you, you picked a good time to subscribe. Today I am finishing the driver's side of my disc brake swap. I only finished half it yesterday because I was missing pieces and it just took a really long time. Um, I have enough time tonight. I should be able to get the other side done with no problems that I have. I've already done one side. I know how to do it and I have all the pieces and all the extra parts and this and that. It should, should be a breeze. And I want you to see this. 63, that is amazing. You got, if you're a long time subscriber, you know, I hate the heat and I've lived in Florida my entire life. This is weird, to have my, hold on. Okay, left hand, better. I talk, whatever. I have lived in Florida my entire life and the heat just, it sucks the life out of you. It's miserable to do anything outside. It's just, it's no fun. I love the spring into fall, winter time. That whole time is amazing. Not so much the, the spring, but more the fall, winter time, like this time, October, November, December, amazing. It's so much cooler and I absolutely love it. <sighs> this makes my heart happy. I'm gonna get the car spun around real quick so I can have the driver's side on this side because I don't want to work in that little space over there with no light. So we'll do that. Hopefully the car starts. That'd be nice. Every time I get in this car, this stock, little seat just makes me so sad. I miss my Carlos so much. They called me Monday morning um, because they want to double check the placement of the Recaro. I'm putting in the same spot. So I believe they're on the last finishing steps of it. So hopefully this week I have the seats back because I dearly, dearly miss them. Now let's see if we can't get a cold start for the boys. An actual, like, legitimately cold start. Oh yeah. I think I need to get bigger gauge wire from the battery in the back to the front. I think it's just not big enough to carry enough power and it's starting slow. So eventually we will address that. Car spun around. Fun fact, I have no brakes right now. Not because they don't work, it's just I haven't bled them yet. So like the pedal just goes to the floor. Thankfully it wasn't going very fast and I was ready for it because I, I thought about it, but that could have been very, very, very bad. All right, let's get started on this. Look at them spackles. Look at them spackles. Okay, I got distracted. Now let's get started. All right, so the car is up. I'm not gonna go through as in detail as yesterday, um, just because I've already done it, you've already seen it. So I'm gonna go a bit quicker today and I'll give you updates at like milestones, like checkpoints, like Call of Duty, so. First section is done, the front portion's off, the wheel bearing, all that fun jazz is out. Uh, last time I did these four bolts here first and let it hang down and then I took the e-brake off and the brake line. I'm gonna do the e-brake and the brake line first so this isn't flopping around and then I'll take this off and then the whole thing is come straight out so that'll be easier on my part. But this is going smoother this time, um, I think. Everything is off and still going nice and smoothly. What I need to do now is get um, the dust shield and the spindle put on, get my new races pressed into this uh, rotor here, and then we can start assembling. My brake pads, oh, they, they were in. I had to take them back out. But my brake pads are here. Get those put in, uh, tighten everything up, bleed the brakes, and we should be good to go. So yesterday I had mentioned that I was getting pretty frustrated because the pistons on these wouldn't compress for whatever reason, but I got them both to work and they're working fine now. But in the result of me getting upset and hitting things, look at this big old chunk I took out of my caliper. It was nice and spray painted black and now it's all nicked up. But, but have no fear if I can find it. Look at that and have no fear, ladies and gentlemen, no fear. And boom, the power of Sharpie has fixed it. I mean, you can still kind of see it. Just don't, don't look at my car guys, but it's, it's better, it's, it's better, whatever, it's better. Look at them sparkles. Okay, I gotta focus. At this point, the entire disc is assembled. All you need to do now is connect this brake line up under there. Then I can fill up with brake fluid, bleed the brakes, and we should be um, completely done. I uh, haven't worked out the e-brake yet. I'll put it another day. I think I'm going to get metal zip ties and connect it from there up to the top and have it pulled down. It should work fine. Um, I know a lot of people have done like, different things to make it work. I think that'll work aside from getting like actual like 
three point or the longer e brakes and taking all of that up, that's too too much for me. So I think I might get metals at ties and just hook from there to there and have it pull. But it's functional. My bearings are in, the brake pads are in, everything's together. All right, over here I have brake fluid. The brake line is connected. I have my sister here. I need you to hop in the car and you're gonna pump the brakes and then you're gonna hold it down and then you just listen to my directions and it'll be easy. All right, so what I need you to do is press it again like uh, five or six times. It's like up and down, I keep pressing it back and forth and then on the last one, I'll tell you to hold it and just hold it down and then just hold it until I say pump it again, okay? All right, so we start pumping right now. Do like six or seven and then hold it. Hold it. Yeah. All right, yeah. Oh yeah, all the air. All right, hold it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's what I do for fun. Alright, good. One side's done. One more side to do. Yeah, you did good. Let go. You let go. Are you ready? Yeah. That was very enthusiastic, but alright. Alright, pump away. Oh, damn. Did you say they're sleeping? No, they're not being used. Oh, I told you that you said they're sleeping. Yes, my brakes are sleeping. They're being used. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, but no. Okay, pump again, please. All right, hold it. That was only seven. It's okay. Okay, pump. All right, good. Hold it. Over time, pump. My hand, my hand, hand. All right, pump. All right, hold. Thank you. All right. That should be good. Thank you. Both sides have now been bled. I'm gonna throw the wheels back on real quick. Take it for a quick test drive. Hopefully uh, they work. I mean, I still have front brakes, obviously, but hopefully I can notice some sort of difference between having discs in the rear versus drums, or this was absolutely for nothing, and I wasted a bunch of time, and my patience on, yeah, but they, they look cooler, so I mean, that's always a plus, minus my hammer marks where I hit it, but we're gonna go for a drive. My neighbors are about to hate me. Oh, yeah. All right, car's back together, about to go for a ride real quick. Just make sure they work properly, hopefully. Um, I'm sure my neighbors are going to absolutely love me driving this car around 11.30 at night. But that sucks to suck. they be alright. Back from my drive. Great news. The brakes honestly worked amazing. They were really soft at first, but I stopped to just pump the brakes like 50 times or so. And they tightened up a lot. So now this thing stops. I can definitely tell a big difference between having discs up front and discs in the rear versus having the drums in the rear. Definitely a good, a solid upgrade, I feel. Probably did it a long time ago, but... It is what it is. Um, I have it now. They work. I didn't crash and didn't die. Still no e-brake. I need to figure that out. On Friday, I think, I'm going to put my zobbers back on, put the side back on. When the wheels are back off in the back, um, I'll figure out somehow to hook the e-brake to the little latch piece and get them to work. But as of now, it's not that big a deal. I'll leave the car in gear. I mean, I park on carpet, so the car doesn't roll anyways, but we'll get it fixed. I want an e-brake. But this was a good upgrade. So if you can find or if you just want to do this, it's not too hard to do if you have all the right pieces. Make sure you have a race pressing tool. Got to have one of those. Um, but overall, it's done. I learned something new. I'm not a master mechanic, but if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Doing just fine before I met you I drank too much and that's an issue But I'm okay Hey You tell your friends it was nice to meet